Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Ellery here. This is a trip preparation video, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna be really busy, so I just decided to turn into a video so you guys can see how I prepare for a big trip. Right now I'm going to return my sandals that did not fit. The fam is waiting for me in the car. It is very cold out here. Sorry, you have a, oh, she has a jacket on. I got my jacket on. You got your jacket on. You ready to go? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, mommy. Gave you your doll. Here. Okay, Alright, so my plan to film us at the mall failed miserably. There were so many people there. It was obnoxious. And I had to guard my purse and stuff because you know Linux is a bit ghetto now. For those of you who live in Atlanta, know this. I have my mask on because I've been kind of living in this thing. I did want to show you guys what I exchanged. I had got some sandals. Yes, that's my fire alarm. It's all the way up there, which is why I haven't changed it yet. I just bought a ladder that's high enough on Amazon. It's so funny though, because it's been beeping like that for a couple days. And I kind of tune it out now. Like the first day I couldn't sleep, and now it's just like... Alright, so I was planning on showing you what I was exchanging in the store. This is the sandal I had before. Cute, pretty basic. I don't have any brown sandals. Of course they sold out of those, so I had to exchange them for these. Still very cute. And uh, I decided to get a purse to match them, just because they were so cute. Cute, right? Small and classic just like I like it. The straps are inside. I'll deal with that later. Right now here's my beautiful mess. I don't even know why I'm showing you this but this is just how my brain is right now as far as everything that I want to bring. That was originally the suitcase I was packing until I realized Delta broke it so I had to buy a new suitcase which is over here. And the only reason why it's still looking a hot mess is because my sister and Taj we wanted to see everything and I'll be throwing everything around on FaceTime to show them all the different stuff because we have themed days. And I'm waiting on one more package. I'm a last minute shopper for whatever reason. So I'm waiting on one more thing to come and then I'm gonna fold everything and put it away. It all makes sense in my brain. Let me go check on my daughter. Yeah, it's cool? Yeah. Okay. Love you, kid. You good? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, I don't know, just video. If you're hungry, uh, eat that rice. Don't eat any more sushi because it's not good anymore. I know. It only, you're only supposed to eat it 24 hours after, and today will be 48. Love ya. This is a bunch of stuff I bought yesterday for both the trip and for Yosh because she's going to her dad's for a week and she can't fit nothing, like absolutely nothing. She wears my clothes often. She just grew out of 12, 10, 12, and now she's into like 14, kind of 16. The girl's curvy, okay? So I had to do that, and then now I am getting ready to go downstairs and take some product shots for Stilo, if you guys don't know this, which haven't even announced it, but obviously Stilo has the custom shirts that we make on the fly, usually with just cute little slogans on it or whatever, but um, we are starting SB collection, the Stilo Boutique collection that has clothing. So we have to take some product shots, some photos, and get that stuff up on the site before my birthday, that's the goal. So my sister's on my way to come help me with that. It's gonna be a very busy day. And as you can see, my house is a mess. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm not stressed at all. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, we just did our shoot, which I think, I mean, for us to be doing this ourselves, I am pretty happy with how the pictures turned out. I hope you guys like them. If you wanna see how they turned out or shop any of our new stuff, obviously go to shopstilo.com and follow Stilo on Instagram. I'll put that on the screen. And um, here's a little picture of one of the pictures we took. Obviously I edited it, my face out, cause my face was a hot mess. Um, but yeah, now I'm on the way to go meet my mom, stepdad, stepsister at Juicy Crab. So that's where I'm on my way to, looking crazy. Cause I did not plan on doing that. My mom just randomly called me cause I'm by her house. I went to the bank already, got some money off the trip. I still gotta go to the liquor store to get some shooters for the plane. A lot of us are on the same flight, so we all wanted to sit together and get shoisty. Just kidding. It's gonna be a respectable, responsible trip, okay? And then, today is Thursday. I gotta go home and post Yoshi's video and finish packing, which I'm gonna show you the progress I made. Y'all saw the before, how everything was everywhere. I made so much progress, I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. I got mines to go, because the bank took forever. They had already started eating, but I got black mussels, 
and crab. Came a corn and a tater. That's for my bib on. I got the garlic because sometimes the juicy special, which I normally get, is too salty. So now you see it and now you finna don't because I'm starving. All I had today was tomato and avocado. So goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone say bye. Okay, so I'm still not done, so bear with me. I just want to show you guys how, because remember everything was over there. We've transferred some stuff over here, okay? I like to pack according to the day. So all this in this pile, oh my hands is ashy. Child, I was just washing dishes, do not. Don't come for me. Um, So like each pile is like for a day because I usually do three outfits a day on vacation, especially when the water is involved because you know you gotta change out your swimsuit. So it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, so on and so forth according to the themes because there's different themes for each day. And then I have all like my extra stuff, like stuff that doesn't go with a day, but in case I need something extra, because you always need something extra, shorts and tops over here. Then I just folded some clothes yesterday, so this is just like yoga pants and stuff in case, you know, we're feeling froggy to go walk on the beach or something. A couple extra dresses and tops, just in case. I'm a just in case fiend, so these are just in case. I have one pair of jeans, why? Just in case. And then over there, I'm starting to set out my pajamas which I'm trying to get like the thinnest smallest stuff I can that's still appropriate you know we're in mixed company then on one of these bags I'm gonna put my hair stuff still gotta find a spot for my wigs over here I got my hookah and stuff you know for entertainment I don't know why I'm bringing that hat that hat reminds me of a grandma but I still got this side of the bag for like all this extra stuff around and my wigs hopefully will fit and then in this bag, I'm keeping like all my valuable stuff, like my purses. I'm only bringing two purses, but my purses, my sandals are in here, my hat, and um, what's in here? Oh, my tennis shoes are in here. I need one pair of tennis shoes. And I think this is my jewelry. I like to keep all like that important stuff in my carry-on bag, because if you guys watched my Paris vlog, you know they lost our luggage, and one of my friends never got hers back, so we're just gonna be safe. Don't have anything in the backpack yet. Still got a lot more stuff to pack, but this is definitely progress, okay? Progression. When I had got home from Juicy Crab that night, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I could tell I was about to start Big Bertha the next day because I was getting like small cramps, but when I woke up in the morning, Lord Jesus, it was a fire. I've been taking like all these vitamins and I think that in combination with me like working out now, like not only was my period late, but I was extremely nauseous. Like I woke up throwing up and the worst cramps ever and I was like so confused because that's never happened to me before. I usually have bad cramps but as far as like nausea, if y'all would have saw me y'all would have thought I was like in labor. I was like crying to Jesus please just make whatever he needed to come up come up so I could just lay down and get to my life. So I was incapacitated all yesterday and I was unproductive. I didn't finish packing. I didn't do anything because I knew I was gonna have to get Yoshi today, which I am waiting for her to come outside right now. She's taking forever. So I can braid her hair because she's gonna be with her dad while I'm gone. And you know, these they be struggling with this hair. So I'm gonna braid her hair today. It's crazy how I've been like, oh my God, I cannot wait to go on this vacation. And then just like crept up on me. And now I'm like, oh my God, I'm not prepared, but I need to get my life together. I did find out this new way to braid uh, her hair. I found it on Instagram, like the little crochet method, not crochet braids, but it's hard to explain. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys may have seen on Instagram already, but if you wanna see how I'm gonna do her hair, make sure you watch her channel Thursday and I'll show you how I've been doing her braids because the cheapness in me didn't want to pay somebody to, to braid her hair, especially if I could do it myself. And it was something that I was going to do all the time. I just wanted to learn how to do it myself. It's not the cleanest method, but she's a kid, so. Well, this is pretty much my process when I am uh, heading out of town. I do everything last minute. Everything in general, like videos, pictures, all that stuff. I am last minute queen. For some reason, I work better under pressure, like to get it done. If I have so much time, I'll like procrastinate and do little pieces here, little pieces there, get up, do whatever. But when this comes to that final stretch, I'm like, all right, and I get it done. Well, looky, looky. You're so thirsty. <laughs> it's Finny Finny. She's like, if you don't call me by my name, hey, Finny Finn. Finny, Finn, Finn. Oh, no. She's so 
so scared. Aww. Let it warm up to you though. Here's what Yoshi's hair turned out like. Super cute. It only took me two days. <laughs> well, as y'all can see, I had company Saturday. Bestie came over with the hubby. And um, so I had to finish Yoshi's hair the next day. Today is Monday now. Um, I'm about to go get my nails done. Y'all look at my nails. Embarrassing. Mind you, they've been looking like this for about four weeks now. Because they broke shortly after I got them done. I don't know what was going on with that set. But I've been looking like this for three weeks. So finally getting my nails done. Birthday nails. Ew. Ew. I might record it. You might have to check on Instagram Reels to see if I do. After I get my nails done, got to run errands. I'm gonna try to get everything done today besides my wax and my lashes, which lashes are tomorrow, wax is Wednesday, and um, the cleaners are supposed to come Wednesday, so that when I get home, my house will be clean, I'm gonna get my car clean. It's just all about cleansing, you know? I want everything around me to be cleansed and saged when I get home so that I can enter a peaceful environment, and um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I love my birthday. When I tell you today has been the longest day ever, my nail guy was 45 minutes late, as if I wasn't already on the road for 45 minutes to get there. He did a good job though. I saw this design on Instagram, and for my birthday I wanted like nude nails with a little pizzazz, you know? Yeah, so he takes forever. So I was there for like three hours because I got a pedicure too. Then I went to the liquor store. Then I went to Target, and as soon as I got to Target, Yoshi got to the house, her dad dropped her off, so I could only grab a couple things to Target. I still gotta go back tomorrow. Then, by the time I got home from Target, she had to go to acting class, which is only 50 minutes today, which means I had to go back and get her. Then she kept complaining about being hungry, so I just put some shrimp scampi on, because that's like our new favorite. You guys saw the video, or wherever where I showed you guys how to make it. I make it different every time, so. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm waiting for her slow self to get out the shower so she can eat, I can eat. Then I gotta put all the new clothes products on Stilo, because I told y'all that's dropping this week. Check for it on Friday. I gotta finish packing my bag and show you the stuff I got today since this is a packing video. It's just been a little all over the place. I'm a little overwhelmed. Three days until we leave and I'm still about 50% done doing what I need to do. I still gotta wash all my wigs. I still gotta pack my carry-on and my backpack, my makeup, all my electronics. It's a lot. But guess what? Diamonds are created under pressure. Let's go. I don't know where time is going, but she needs to slow TF down, okay? It is one o'clock in the morning. I ate dinner and I was on the computer working for like four hours. Then I walked a mile. I did not do any extra packing. This is all the stuff that was there the other day when I showed y'all. Still a hot mess. This is the stuff I bought earlier. Some Red Bull. They're gonna have Red Bull out there, but I might want one um, as soon as I land because I'm gonna be drinking on the plane, so I got that. Don't judge me. I was only gonna get like five of these, but she was like, do you wanna just get the set? And I was like, I guess. So we got 12 shooters, this is the only brown tequila they had in shooters. I was kind of upset about that, but not surprised. I just brought this from downstairs. I'm bringing my extra ring for the Airbnb because, you know, people is crazy out here. Makeup removers. Couldn't find any other shampoo and conditioner except this, which I haven't used before, but then I brought my Polaroid camera from downstairs. Deodorant when I went to Target. This was downstairs, the uh, Forever Mood, Jackie Anna's brand uh, silk headscarf that I'm gonna wear when I like do my makeup and stuff. I grabbed a couple eye patches that were on my table downstairs. I just opened the Huda Beauty eye lift and snatch. And I don't know where this came from, but it was downstairs too. It's a wellness kit and it has sanitizer, mask, sanitizer, towelettes, a thermometer, and some tissue. So I said, okay, travel kit. And some brush cleaner. This one's from Real Techniques. It's instant brush cleaner, which is my favorite to use like when I'm out of town. I have so much shit to do tomorrow, it's not even funny. I know I said pressure creates diamonds, but I think this amount of pressure is creating some baguettes because I'm stressed, but I will see y'all in the morning. I'm about to take a shower, do a little face mask because my face is looking a hot mess. My lip is still red. I'm just, okay. Regroup tomorrow. See you then. Rise and grind for the city. I just dropped Yosha off at my sister's house. Heading to my lash appointment so I can look more like a woman. I bet some of y'all are probably like, girl, do you really be in this these streets with this beanie on and these hoodies on? 
all day every day and the answer to that question is very simple yes yes it's not like people run into me if they do they don't say nothing so i just feel invisible anyway why not disguise myself as a young adolescent boy it's the easiest way to stay discreet you know also probably why i'm single but i hate putting wigs on like if i'm not going anywhere and then i just got my hair cut again less than a week ago like a big chop again remember last time when i had the like high school chop i did that again so it just needs to stay put where it's at plus when i get my lashes done i like to be comfortable because that's where i get my good sleep i lay down we chit chat for about 15 minutes and then lights out you know i hit my rim sleep for about two hours and then i'm refreshed for the rest of the day today is going to be busy 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 it's my last day to get my life together this is where the diamond is created okay because tomorrow it's all gonna be about like the trimmings okay i already put my sheets in the wash for the cleaners tomorrow that are coming in the morning i gotta get some last minute things from the store and i want my suitcase zipped up to night sun the only thing that i don't want in my suitcase by tonight are is my makeup bag because i am going to wear makeup on the plane because we have an afternoon flight gotta be looking cute because we gotta get this thing on a cracker you know what i'm saying <laughs> new lashes who this <laughs> nice and plump because you know she's gonna get wet and wild <laughs> i am being very annoying because i'm sleepy i'm about to go get a starbucks get my child and get to my house so i can finish what needs to be finished <sighs> Please tell me why. All I wanted was a simple coffee. GPS took me to somebody's house. I don't know who's selling bootleg Starbucks at the neighborhood house, but it was clearly no Starbucks. Then it takes me to freaking Target. I did not want to get out the car. I wanted to go to the drive-thru, but I'm at Target. I already went out the way. Let me just go into Target, get my Starbucks. Not only was Starbucks registers closed, like no one was there. I don't know if they were on break or what. So instead I had to get this, which I've never had before. Super coffee. It's basically like a coffee energy drink. My face is hella greasy. And I walked out of Target spending $120. I came for coffee, spent $120. It's time to go home. Like, what was that even about? I'm annoyed. Target does it every time. It's like they have like money spending spirits in there. It's not terrible. 70 calories, I guess. Maybe that was God's way of saving me some calories. Look on the brighter side, L. I lied. The more I drink it, the nastier it is. I should've just got an energy drink. Where is everybody? One is for Cali. One is for Cali. I got you a whole box in the car, stop. Where is Fat Fat? Upstairs. Where is my Fat Fat? Yeah, fatty fat, fatty fat fat. <laughs> fatty fat fat. That's me. I bought you a surprise. What is it? What is it? <laughs> fat fat. Look, you gotta eat it downstairs though, cause your house is getting clean. But it's an Oreo Pop Tart. <gasps> Have you ever had one of those before? Yeah. 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 You not. I, I, I love it. it. You love it? Let's see her progress. Let's see if it, wow, you're worse than me. Wait, why do you have boxes? Well, these are just shoes, but they're empty. Oh. Uh, um, so you're really stuffing that carry-on to capacity, huh? <laughs> Watch you out here. You know how you have to lift the carry-on over your head? It's always be like. Why do you have one suitcase? What do you mean? You guys, are, you're packing both your stuff in, in one suitcase? I didn't have a choice. Kelly, you have push, your push. and money. Got your bouquet. Don't you have that too if you want to <laughs> <laughs> Squish, squish. I got your bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> I got your booty. I got, it's not booty, it's bouquet. I got lots of electric nails. Thank you. So that's really pretty. You gotta say, squish, squish, I got your booty. It's squish, I got your booty. No, it's not booty. <laughs> it's booty. I got your booty. Oh. No. Bye, guys. Say bye, say Good bye. job. Say bye. Say bye. Don't forget your work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Bye, Zaya. I love your YouTube channel. I mean, I love your YouTube videos. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs>
<laughs> so your spring break is starting a little early, even though you still have to do work. And now study, I have finished y'all once. And study for your test. I gotta no! print that out. Yes, because we're, we're finishing out this semester with A's if you want to do anything fun this yes, summer. Sir. Have you been doing well in school? Yeah. Got my car all cleaned out. Here's the before of all the ratchetness. The outside looked like a lemon pepper wang. It's all the pollen, but he's gonna get her right. That's why I couldn't get my white seeds because these kids are disrespectful. Can't wait to see you shine, Cruella. Can't wait to see you shine. All right, the car is getting washed downstairs. I'm in my room now. He's a mobile car wash detailer. Getting to the point. Now I'm about to grab this bag, which is empty, and go fill it up with some skincare. These are some of my skincare drawers. I just need, I know I had like, yes, yeah, stuff like this. This is what I'm bringing. I love this face wash. It's from Glow Recipe. It's called Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Love this. They also have a travel size moisturizer. It was like this, except it was small. Erm, erm, erm. I do need this because I get really bad sunburn. Sometimes I even get little bumps on my face when I'm in the sun too long. And the only thing that usually helps it is a charcoal mask. I need some SPF just in case I run out of the Olay one because it's not new. Face mist when I just want some hydration. This is also a good one when my skin is super dry. Thirst trap juice. I might do this at night instead of my normal moisturizer because I feel like I'm gonna need, I feel like I'm gonna be thirsty like my skin. So I'm gonna bring that instead. Oh, and here's the travel size moisturizer I was talking about. I'm gonna bring this too. Then of course we have these that I showed you guys yesterday. Olay Sun facial sunscreen that I was talking about, but it's like like halfway empty because I used this like all last summer and people are gonna be thirsty in my sunscreen. So I'm gonna bring that with a backup. My mask, my mist, moisturizer, face wash. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm sure I'll throw some other stuff in here before I leave because I'm thirsty. I'll bring those two daily facials. Even though I have a face wash, I like those too because they kind of give you a little exfoliation action. And I'm also bringing this too because this one, compared to the Glam Glow one, this one's easier to remove. It's more moisturizing than the Glam Glow. So the Glam Glow might be too harsh in the sun. And if it is, I'm gonna use this one because it is a little bit more gentler. We're gonna bring her. All right, that's enough. Like I'm doing too much, that's enough. Oh, my eczema ointment. Yeah, yeah, I got eczema and she breaks out in the sun. So I really need some eye serum, but my toiletries, I always bring emergency. Toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. Um, Boob tape, perfume. These are probiotics. I also gotta pop some other vitamins in here. I really don't need this because I already have several makeup cleansing cloths. I brought some temporary tattoos in case I'm feeling fancy. I've never used this before, but I found it when I was cleaning my makeup room. This is a panoramic camera. I thought I might try it out when I get there. I probably won't though. And then this is like a little fan because you know a girl be hot. Then when I was at Target, these are my favorite sunflower seeds of all time. I got these for the bus ride because, not the bus ride, but the transfer to the hotel is like an hour and a half. So I just got some snacks since we're going to be drinking. Some Pringles. Still trying to be healthy. I got two bags of these sunflower seeds because I know people are going to steal them. And I also got some bras and panties because that's where I shop for my bras and panties. Y'all can have Vicky, okay? I'm Tarjay over here. <laughs> Two for 20. I got four bras for $40, which is the cost of one bra at your local mall. And then I got some jerky for some snack, five panties for $20. Target got some cute panties, don't sleep. And then I changed my shampoo because this one is more of a clarifying shampoo. And when you get in water and chlorine, you should have something that cleans your hair a little bit better than normal shampoo. So I'm gonna swap out the other shampoo that I bought yesterday. Even though they're smaller, these ones are gonna work better for me. Got my flat iron, 
the press and comb. I need to get my gots to be up in here because it's gonna be all my hair stuff. This is what I wrap my edges with when I'm holding down my wig. Got our drinking stickers, this drink belongs to. Now it is time to head out the house yet again. Oh, Ella! Hey, girlfriend! You looking nice. I can finally see your booty and it's not green. Ooh, wee! She looking good. When did they clean in your car? Obviously today, because we just I, ran I it. Clean. They clean it in the garage? No, they clean it outside the same way they clean it all the time, sis. I'm a tad irritated because I don't want to drive this car because it's pollen everywhere, so it's about to be green again in like 10 seconds. But my other car won't start. So, what is the gal to do? We gotta go. Taking Yosh to acting class. She only spent an hour getting dressed, washing and moisturizing her face, put on blush. Like, sis, who are you trying to impress? Myself. Me, myself, and I. You put a mascara too? Mm -hmm. It was clear. Yeah, that's what I used to tell my mama too. It's clear. It's eyebrow gel, mom. <laughs> when is this pollen gonna go away? Cause I'm actually really irritated right now. Wow, I barely came out the garage and it's green stuff on the windshield already. I feel disrespected. All right, y'all, last day. I'm pretty much done. I know I keep saying that, but I'm done for now. I'm really irritated. My cleaners were supposed to come today and they didn't. So now I have to spend all of tomorrow cleaning my house. I'm just irritated, long story short. I know I've been chatting this whole video, very talkative, but I'm usually going 100 miles per hour all the time. Even though this is a packing video, everything that you saw is usually what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis as far as working, taking care of Yosh, running errands. It's a lot and it's a really stressful situation at most times, but to be busy is to be blessed and I'm not complaining even when I am stressed out, I'm not. I don't take anything that I have for granted and that's why I appreciate you guys' support so much and I'm truly thankful, like truly, truly, truly thankful and, um, and I hope I stay busy and stressed. Well, maybe, maybe a little less stressed, but mostly busy, you know, busy with the blessings. That's a good way to look at it. I finished editing everything. I finished putting everything up on Stilo. It's gonna be live tomorrow on Thursday. I finished packing. Only thing that's missing is my wigs and my makeup, which will be missing until tomorrow when I put everything else in there. I stacked everything nicely on the wall for when I thought the cleaners were gonna be here, so it wasn't in their way. But I haven't shut it yet because I'm still in and out of it, still stuff I need, but I'm pretty much done. Other than taking my other car to get an oil change and smog test, because you know, registrations do on your birthday. The government is real disrespectful out here. I'm just gonna take Zai to get some sushi today and um, we leave. Friday morning. Finally get excited now all the important stuff is out the way. <laughs> Mexico, here I come. Love you guys. Mwah.